Welcome to the Beyond Press channel. Today we are going to do some vacuum experiments with boiling water, but we have have small problem because our new uh, cooking pan or what the hell, electric stove won't fit to our vacuum chamber. So I need to make some minor modifications. Yeah, there was quite a lot of unnecessary parts and sheet metal on this stove, but now it fits nicely to our chamber and we can test, start the tests. So, here is the setup. We have our slightly modified electric stove on the bottom. And then we have this pot, which contains Water and it is now 19 degrees according to our uh, cooking meter. And then we have stove already on, so when I attach the electricity on, it will start to heat up the water. So we can uh, heat the water inside vacuum now. And first we are going to test with complete vacuum, it should boil without any heat and we can See the uh, temperature should drop while it's boiling and then we can add some iron and check a couple points where, where it boils. And I attached this uh, safety ground here because the uh, stove isn't exactly safe anymore after my modifications and it is always to mix water and electricity together. So now if there is some problem here and the electricity conducts to this vacuum chamber, it goes away by this safety ground and we are not killed. Safety is priority number 57. Yeah. So now everything is ready. We have to change that piece of shit electrical uh, temperature meter because it didn't work, but now we have this Trust the analog one and first we are going to try without uh, heating the temperature of boiling water, so let's start. So now the water should boil around somewhere less than 5% air and the temperature should drop when the water boils slowly but I think it's really slow drop because there is so much water and our pump isn't that powerful yeah now the water is boiling and I think we let it boil for a while and see if there is any changes. Now it is around 19 degrees. So the water is boiled now. A couple of minutes and the temperature is maybe dropped about one, one degree of Celsius. So it is quite slow drop. And I think now we are going to try with a different pressure than zero. Maybe I I check what is the pressure of salt on top of the Mount Everest and we try with that. So the pressure on top of Mount Everest is about third about of normal pressure, so I let some air in. And now we turn our heater on and See when the boiling starts. And I haven't checked the right answer. It, this would be quite easy to check somewhere, but I think it's more fun without checking. So it's surprise. And now the heater is on and let's see. Now it sounds like it's 
going to boil quite soon, so we keep waiting and see that what's that pressure matter. Yeah, now the uh, pressure is slowly increasing, so water is boiling and producing steam that raises the pressure. So now I uh, take the switch the electric stove off and we can open the chamber and have a look how warm the water is. How much is it? Yeah, it is around uh, 70 degrees. So I think we are going to have to check out the right answer from <laughs> Wikipedia, where we write at our experiment. We have some great news. Our answer was 70 and right answer is 70. So we, our experiment was extremely accurate as always. <laughs> <laughs> so this is some true science shit right here. And then just for one fun, uh, some giant bubble wrap and medium size bubble wrap. Let's see. Yeah, they are filling up quite nicely. I really hope that they explode. Yeah! Some of them exploded, which were nice, but some of them are still intact. And even those that didn't explode got somehow stretched or something, so this is this is not good anymore. The same thing here. Yeah, I think they leaked most of the air out, those which didn't explode. And the, these two at least exploded. Then some uh, like styrofoam or some foam pieces. There isn't happening anything, but I suck all the air out and then we see what happens when we add air back in. Yeah, now it's completely empty and then we add the air back. <laughs> Yeah, these are completely undamaged, so they didn't do anything. Yeah, I think this is all for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. And for today's extra content, we have Dangerous Blue Man.
<laughs> That's quite nice. Let's hope that he gets on fire. That would be even better. <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah, I think he is not going to get on fire. He just melts away. Yeah, I think we have seen enough. <laughs> bye bye.